We're going out on video chat this morning. We're joined by former rider, Argo, linebacker, Red Black, Tampa Bay Buccaneer, Jeff Knox Jr. joining us today, our good and longtime friend. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Good morning, fellas. How you doing? Good. Where do we uh, where do we catch you at today? Where are you hanging your hat these days? All right now I'm in uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, you're home, huh? Yes, sir. All right, Jeff. You hit a tiger the other day in the highway. Let's start right. <laughs> let's start right with the goods. What <laughs> what happened? Good. Uh, basically, uh, I was following another teammate. We was going home. We took off from Ottawa about four o'clock in the morning, and we was going to head home. And he was going to stop past uh, Steph Logan. He lives in Florida. And he's gonna stay at my house, you know, on um, Pittsburgh halfway drive, you know. So we're following each other that morning. I had to do a favor for him, make a phone call for him. And uh, as I was crossing, leaving the Canadian border, crossing into the U New York, uh, man, I, I literally looked at my phone for a hot second to uh, make a phone call for my friend. And something flew across my uh, bumper, <laughs> my front end of my bumper, man, and flew across my hood. And I'm just like, I thought it was big, and I thought it was a deer, to be honest with you. I thought I hit a deer. I pulled over to the side of the room. My bumper fell off. So I had to like, tie my T-shirt to my bumper. And then um, I'm about maybe 100, 100 feet down. I had to catch my, you know, I spun out of control a little bit. So I had to catch my, uh, catch the wheel. Finally pull over. I'm literally about maybe a, maybe 80 to 100 yards uh, from from where I hit it. So you know what? I was like, you know what? Let me move it off the side of the road before anybody else run over, run, hits it or you know, cause a, a, better, a better accident than what it needs to be, you know? So, uh, me being the guy, I walk towards it. <laughs> I back up a little bit, about 50 feet, and I start walking towards it. And I start noticing that, man, this ain't no, this ain't no deer. I thought it was somebody's family dog. <laughs> so I'm like, dang, I probably hit somebody's dog. So I was gonna go find the caller and make the phone call and like, let's see if they had a number I could call somebody and say, listen, I hit your dog and can we, can y'all come get him or, you know, of that nature. And uh, as I'm walking, getting a little closer to it, I just noticed if something was breathing, and I noticed this is this is not a dog. This is bigger than a dog, you know. <laughs> so me, I, I get back in the car because I don't know what it is. So I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and keep walking towards it. So I back my car all the way up on the highway, and I get parallel to it, and that's when I, I made a video because I'm like, I'm looking at it at first, and I'm like, that's not what I think it is, you know. <laughs> so and so I uh. I, I wait till it stop. It, 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 I basically waited to stop breathing. Then I finally got in my car and uh, made a video to show, like, just some for some evidence for my insurance purposes. To be honest with you, <laughs> like, uh, so because I know nobody would believe me if I didn't take a video of it. I want to so, tell uh, people, by the way, this is live television. This is not set up. This is all no. true. He hit a tiger. And sorry to interrupt, Jeff, but I was watching the vi your tweet. I was in Texas last week. I've known you a long yeah. time. You're a good yes, guy. Sir. I almost Appreciate texted it. you and said, Jeff, take that down. Somebody's going to arrest you for hitting a circus animal and like a conservation officer. You know what I'm saying? I was worried yeah, no for your safety. So what's happened in the last week since this happened? Nothing. <laughs> There's a lot of people just telling me that it's not a tiger. <laughs> like I get a lot of... Uh, direct messages and, and, and tweets that saying that it was a leopard. <laughs> I got some calls. People say it was a, a, a lynx or a, a bobcat. And like I said, y'all know me. I'm from Pittsburgh. I come from a, a small neighborhood. And we don't see stuff like that. So when I just said it was a tiger, I didn't really know what it was. But I knew that looked like a tiger to me. <laughs> so, and I, apparently it's, it's, it's a lynx. is part of the tiger family. So It looked like uh, a tiger? I, it looked like a tiger? Yeah. That's what I said. Uh, basically, I ain't getting no, I ain't had no backlash from it. Unless there's a lot of people telling me it was what it ain't <laughs> and what it is. So, other than that, but uh, I'll tell you something funny, man. I called Geico, my insurance company, and I told him. <laughs> 15 minutes or not? What is it? Say 15% on Geico? Sorry, continue. Man, listen, <laughs> I call, I call them. Uh, a, a young lady answered the phone, and I'm trying to, I'm at, I'm at the, uh, have to get my car towed. I was all from area to Pittsburgh, so. I finally, uh, I finally talked to my insurance company when I get to the uh, tow cutting garage, and I, I, I can't make it up. But I, she literally like laughed at me on the phone and thought it was a joke, <laughs> and she started calling other employees over to, to listen to me on the phone. And I'm like, I'm very serious. I'm like, I can't make it up. I'm like, hey, 
actually hit a tiger on the side of the road and I got to figure out what my deductibles is and what I need to pay so I can get my bumper fixed. And uh, I'm to my, I literally watched this lady laugh <laughs> at the top of her lungs, man. Just, she just thought I was lying. And I actually said, listen, I'm, I'm Jeff Knox Jr. I'm a professional football player playing Canada. Uh, I got a Twitter. If y'all, anybody got a cell phone around, you actually go on my Twitter and you'll see I posted a video of it stating that's me. And, uh, <laughs> once they seen it, I get my date of birthday. It's like, oh man. But, How many so, times has it been viewed, Jeff? How many times have people uh, seen this? Man, it's uh, maybe like 10,000 people already that I know of from retweets and, uh, right. and messages. So here's the thing, and I'll get into the football questions here. Other, th- uh, I, I, Again, I felt bad because you're like, man, this is how my life's here, going. Man. I just hit a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? As if it wasn't things weren't bad enough. I just hit a tiger on the side of the road, and then you went and videoed this dead tiger. <laughs> Thank God Man. you didn't yeah. go feel for that collar. <laughs> yeah how how are things with you? Otherwise, are you coming back to the CFL next year? Or what what is your situation? Oh, so basically, my situation is uh, I'm, I'm very unsure. It's like an unsure thing because I came into uh, Ottawa late in the season, so I only got to start a few games. Um, and uh, it's been a very, very, very strange year, man. When I tell you this stuff, I can't make it up. So <laughs> bear with me, all right? Yep. So basically, over the summertime, I was talking to a few teams. I was talking to BC. I was talking to uh, Toronto a little bit. I was talking to Ottawa about how we, can we uh, come up with a contract situation where I can sign when I'm coming to camp, right? So as that as that, as that was taking place, uh, my old – college that I graduated from, Cal University of Pennsylvania. I got invited from uh, some people from my school to come down to a club to uh, celebrate their graduation. So I'm like, all right, I'll come down. I came down to that club, and that's why I left that club. Uh, a guy mistaken identity, he ran behind me, and he stabbed me six times. And, uh, so it left me uh, the whole summertime I was in the hospital, so uh, he stabbed me close to my heart and my lung. So I couldn't play ball until I finally got cleared in, uh, at the end of June. Going into July, then that's when I got in touch with Ottawa. Got in touch with me and uh, asked him about the situation. Could I be able to play? And I said, Yeah. So I went up there in uh, mid, mid mid season, and that's how that started. But uh, man, so that's been a strange year. So the game, I, I get up there in Ottawa, right after being stabbed six times. I get up to Ottawa. Finally, get up up there to play the game I was going to play against was Winnipeg. Uh, I don't know, it was week seven, I think. Uh, but I was going to play against them in Winnipeg, ready to set up, start, be a starter, play the game, ball out, you know. And uh, a, you're a rookie on the team, big defensive lineman. I guess his book bag got stuck on top of the locker, the back top of the locker, people playing pranks, you know. And, uh, I was getting dressed to get on the plane. And as I'm getting dressed to get on the plane, uh, he was hanging on the locker, and he take, he's a big guy. And uh, The wooden part of the locker, it fell, and he fell all the way back, like all the way back like on his back, holding onto a big piece of plank of wood of a locker, and it fell on top of my head <laughs> before we went to the game and gave me a concussion, knocked me out in the locker room, gave me a concussion. So I couldn't travel. Since, like That was 20 minutes before a plane took off, so I couldn't play in that game. So I had to wait the concussion protocol. I had to wait a couple of weeks if I could play, and I finally got a chance to get to play against Marjorie Hall. Played against Marjorie Hall. Uh, I don't understand what, what happened, what the decision was made, but – I talked to a couple of coaches after the Montreal game. I played, had a couple of special teams tackles, and uh, they released me. They called me and released me. And, uh, I I understand why, but a few different coaches reached out to me and let me know that it was nothing I did wrong. It was not their decision. One person made the decision, and that's something that they're – and Coach Campbell and Coach Dice, they said they're going to fight to get me back in, So which they did. I came back that next week. So – that's been a strange. That's why I say it's been a strange year. It's really been a very, very strange year. <laughs> God's testing you. You you know that, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. And then on top of that, I just had my just had my son. Uh, so that that's a blessing. That's a good thing. So. Oh but, yeah. Well, you keep yeah, passing the test. You always do, Jeff. So. Yeah. I pr- just yes, sir. don't give up, man. Don't give up. I mean. Oh. For those that don't know, this guy, you guys remember, was the team MVP for the Riders, defensive MVP, and rookie of the year in 2015. Never before been sir. done. Are you even 30 yet? No, sir. I'm, I just turned 27 last February. So You got a long, <laughs> you got a long ways to go, Jeff. So, I look, we got we to gotta go to a commercial, but um, 
I appreciate you telling the story and checking in. Say hi to your mom for me, please. Oh, I definitely. Yeah. I definitely learned not to say hello. Yeah, and uh, just keep in touch, man, and, and and keep going. I know it's been tough, but uh, you're a fighter. You're a winner. You'll come out on the other side. I always do. Appreciate it, brother. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.